Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do something really cool that I used to do as a kid. These are great summer projects for your kids, for something to do, or you're still a kid and you still play with these things. <laughs> We're gonna make some of these airplanes today. You can cut them by hand, you can cut them with a vinyl cutter, or you can cut them with a laser, just like the longer laser that I have. Now, I made these as a kid, and they can fly crazy good. I would get some cardstock, like a poster board, or even a manila folder. A lot of people have these around, and I would just cut them out from the plans that I found at the local library. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Ben, I'm not going to go to a local library and I'm not going to find these plans. So what the heck? Well, I've got you covered because what I've done is I've gone into Onshape and I've made a few designs of my own because I actually went to college for this kind of stuff. So here you see what I have designed up. It's just a 3D model and this doesn't necessarily help you out either. But I am going to give you a document that you can come to that will give you all the exploded views and the assembled view and how everything goes together as you would want it to go, including a little bit on how to trim it up. If you have problems with it nose diving, you have to take the elevator and you have to bend those up a little bit. So this will be a document that you'll be able to get your hands on and the links will be down below. What you can do in one case is print this out and you can start hand cutting it using a razor blade or scissors. Um, I want you to keep in mind though, as a kid, I ended up dicing myself quite a bit. And as an adult, something like this generally will cause something like this. I'm impatient. I don't want to hand cut everything. I also don't want the mortal danger of one of these bad boys. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use freaking lasers. Lasers. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I have been playing with these diode lasers for about a year now. And uh, these new 20 watt modules, they're insanely capable. They engrave super fast. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with these things. If you don't have one of these, there's absolutely no reason why you can't get a hobby knife and cut one of these guys out. Just download the file. and, Or if you have a creek cut or a vinyl cutter, that'll also work. I want to thank Longer for sending me this demo model. Now, this guy right here has got 20 watts output. And I'll tell you something, that is more power. <laughs> You can see that it cuts super fast, especially through the card. If you want to support the channel, there will be a link down below in the description. For this laser, I really recommend that you get Lightburn software. It's inexpensive. It's a couple hundred dollars. Actually, I don't even think it's that much. And like it has all the options that you want. So anybody that's asking what software to use, definitely get Lightburn. The laser took three minutes to cut this out. Three minutes and some change. If I was gonna to try to cut this out by hand, it'd take about an hour. And a vinyl cutter, I'm not sure how much time it would take, but I definitely know it's more than three minutes. Here's the thing. Now, once you have it all cut out, you break out all the pieces from the little tabs, and we will eventually get to the gluing portion. A glue stick will work perfectly in this case 
Sometimes you might want to use regular school glue. Now, part of it is, is that you need to emboss. So make sure you press the two sides together fairly tightly when you do this. And we are going to need to arc the wing a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just take some round object. In this case, I had a hammer handle and I'll bend the wing over top of that hammer handle just to give it a nice arc so that it will fly a little better. Now, don't concern yourself too much on making this arc perfect. Just get a nice little arc on it, like about the radius of a pop can. After that, you just laminate all the pieces up together in the order that you see in the documents that you can download down below. And yeah, you're off to the races. Now, fold the back flaps down for the horizontal stabilizer and we'll glue that little bad boy in. And now, fold down all the little tabs for the wing. And you'll notice that there is a little bit of an arc in this. Now, this will take a little bit of messing around, but you're gonna find that you can keep the arc on the paper and also get the dihedral or the V-shape um, all at once. It just takes a little bit of time and, and playing with the glue while it's setting up. One last thing. I'm not gonna show you how to make this. It's a stick with a hole in it and a rubber band. You've got this. Now, like I had mentioned earlier, you are going to need to trim these aircraft to fly properly. And to do that, there are some instructions that I'm gonna give you, but I also wanna show you where online you can find some more aircraft like this. I was introduced to this um, when I was at a bookstore and saw these things called white wings. You can't buy them anymore, but I luckily found out that Canon printers had taken the designs of the main guy, Yagasaki Nimamore, this guy here, <laughs> but you can download a lot of his old designs from their website and you can find it at creativepark.canon. And in there, if you look for this name, you'll find it. Or if you look for aircraft, you can find it. One thing that I really like about these is, is if you click on one of them and you download the PDF that goes with them, you are gonna be able to get the outlines and everything that you need to make the cuts, as well as when you come down to the bottom here, you have the pre-flight check, the test flight, and how to fly the glider. And these instructions are much better than what I could write up. And it also shows you exactly how lazy I am because I am not going to write it up since you can already download it. 